Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing an all signs reading, tuning into the day's energies and seeing what divine messages of guidance come through for you. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. It takes you right to my book online page. All right. So, let's dig in, shall we? The overall energy of your reading is the Queen of Cups in reverse. This feels like overwhelmed with emotions. Um, it also feels like feeling ashamed or guilting, guilty, shameful, no, shame. Somehow being ashamed of how you feel shamed of your emotions, um, ashamed. What is this? This feels like there's a lot of emotions coming up to be felt and somehow you're judging yourself that you're bad or less than because you're having these emotions. It feels like it's happening in public and that's why it's so difficult feels like you can't hide the, these emotions. So it feels like you're um, not by yourself, you're with others. <laughs> and you dare to allow others to know that you are human and you have uh, emotions. Uh, it feels painful to, it feels vulnerable, it feels uh, out of control. Um, oh, it's hit, um, it's, a, it's causing a lot of, uh, like a physiological response, uh, almost panic. And, uh, so it's one thing to have these emotions that are, it feels like erupting and not in private, but it feels public. But it feels like then on top of it, you're feeling judged by others. This, this does not feel good. <laughs> so whoever this is, I want to validate your experience. These really intense emotions that are coming up quite possibly in your heart space maybe emotions about how you perceive yourself. It feels very personal. I don't feel like you like this attention. I don't feel like that you like that this is in public, that others are seeing this. Wow. Wow. It looks like uh, this is part of your transformation. Boy, something turns. Some, this is very important if you're experiencing this. If, the, if you're like, oh my gosh, thank goodness. Let's talk about these difficult emotions that are coming out in, a, in public or around others that you would prefer not. So it, does, it could be in the home, but it's around others that you don't feel safe with. And it's something about you. It feels so personal. It feels so um, rejecting of your soul or a rejecting of who you are, like you're too much, you're not enough. But what this is creating is an opportunity for incredible transformation. So going from the Queen of Cups in reverse to the Empress. So it feels like you are transforming how you relate to your emotions. That your emotions are important. Wow. Yeah, uh, it looks like you really learn. You're really learning how to... Um, Hold space for your emotions, taking responsibility for your emotions, 
not making anybody else responsible for how you feel. I think that's part of this transformation. Maybe others are making you feel responsible for not showing up masked, not showing, showing up authentically. There's something here about learning how that your emotions are your, yours. Uh, you are experiencing your emotions, but not making someone else responsible for how you feel. That that's, feels like that's what this reading is about. I'm taking responsibility for how I feel. I'm not going to outsource. <laughs> I need you to make me feel good about me. It feels like uh, you're, you might be severing some unconscious agreements with those who have made you responsible for how they feel or the other way around. Maybe you've made people responsible for how you feel. And by letting go of that unconscious agreement, that um, it's freeing for everybody, it looks like. Yeah, it feels like you, uh, w once you feel safe with emotions and feel comfortable and allow yourself to feel those emotions, identify what they are. So it feels like you're getting an EQ, a high EQ, emotional uh, intelligence. You, it feels like you don't have to hide who you are so much, even the parts of you that you don't care for. It does look like this helps you um, get out of some type of grieving space. I think it, what helps your grief in sadness and move through this is realizing that you, you can't work with people who um, who believe that it is your job to make them happy. They center how they feel in the relationship. So it feels like what I'm looking at is the type of relationship where we can't really be honest about wounds or hurts. Um, there's no communication about, hey, I just want to let you know, of course you didn't know this about me, but when you talk about such and such, that hurts my feelings. Could we not do that? Or or a boundary, you can do whatever you want, but I need to let you know that, that to me, I, I can't have that right now, that kind of talk. So you are welcome to talk about whatever you want, but I'm just letting you know that... I'm not comfortable with these type of discussions and if that happens, I'm gonna to have to remove myself. So boundaries isn't about making, controlling other people's anything. It's about um, creating healthy boundaries to take care of yourself. And sometimes you have to exit a situation. It's a very mature way of um, creating healthy boundaries for yourself. It, it's important. Um, you don't have to tolerate things, but you also, people are allowed to show up as themselves. It's important. It's not just you showing up as yourself, but allowing people to show up as themselves and that's okay. However, I care about how I'm being treated and I don't like this. So I'll, I'll leave. I'll just let you know that going forward, that's how it will happen. Yeah, uh, it looks like there's. It looks like you're not interested in a chaotic environment. It feels like you're trying to find peace and you're not interested in any opportunity that where you're misunderstood, where there's a lack of maturity, you know, where people uh, hold each other responsible for how they feel. Boy, this has been very painful. A lot of uh, painful communication. It feels like when you create a healthy boundary, 
um, someone doesn't like that because you're switching the game, you're, you're not engaging, you're not engaging in the fight, you're not engaging back in this painful way, uh, this painful um, pattern that you've been in. It looks like you're, wow, you're willing to walk away. Uh, even though there's still emotional attachments and emotions here, you're realizing this is not for me. Holy cow. You want a relationship that is supportive, that is healthy. It feels like you have healed a lot. And uh, it's, it's like you're realizing what's not for you and in a really profound way. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Very healing energy coming in. Wow, wow, wow. All right, hidden blessings in the devil. There's something about the imagery this in this devil card is very seductive. Very, um, it pulls you back in. It... Uh, it feels like it pulls your strings, it pulls on your wounds, it pulls on your unmet needs, this energy. It feels like whoever is in your environment that wants you, wants you to stay fighting, wants you to keep up with this, this never-ending game. We're never going to get anywhere. It feels like conflict in this, this type of relationship. Conflict um creates resentment someone always has to win instead of uh, a different way where conflict and saying you know what you're saying is hurting me is realizing you know i just i just want to let you know that i'm feeling a certain way it feels like someone caring oh so it feels like you're moving towards a, a, a conscious agreement and that conflict brings an opportunity for connection. And in the old model, conflict leads to wounding and who's right and who wins and trying to convince the other and I feel no one's ever going to become closer. It feels like all relationships are about who's right and who wins instead of strengthening the connection. So one is an example of a power struggle and needing to be right and egoic. And the other is how can we allow this conflict? It feels like very different intentions. Conflict is handled very differently. It looks like you're wanting conf to be able to communicate in a way with someone who's on the same level, who really has that same intention, that there's going to be conflict. There is going to be conflict. Even if there's only one human being in the picture, <laughs> we find conflict within. So if there's conflict, which there will be, then it looks like the blessing here is you choosing um, relationships where you both have the level of maturity to deal with conflict in a way that creates a, an opportunity for more compassion, more softness, more understanding, more love to come in, more safety, and uh, figuring things out. It's very beautiful. This is amazing that the, the devil energy, the obsession, codependency energies coming up are a hidden blessing so you can clear this energy and choose a different way of being very consciously. It feels like you're shifting how you relationship. This is very empowering and very powerful. It feels like this is uh, you're unlearning a, a way of relationshiping and you're creating a new way. It's not just in romantic relationships. It's like in all relationships. 
does this conflict lead to more connection uh, or does conflict lead to me needing to be wrong or someone else or maybe I have a habit also of villainizing and and creating myself as a victim there's a lot there to look at very meaty very interesting all right what you're leaving behind is the two of cups in reverse looks like you're leaving behind a breakup you're leaving behind the way of partnering that leads to disconnect winning instead of coming closer together instead of uh, conflict that brings connection that strengthens so we can both benefit from the conflict so we can both grow and expand from the conflict that's pretty that's wow all right how to get the most of this energy is the page of wands in reverse it feels like uh kind of tempering your passions seeing when someone communicates in ways that you do not uh, receive <laughs> i do not receive this um when someone's communicating in a way and it feels icky or it feels like they're projecting some type of blame onto you that's what this feels like and how to get the most of your month is by not reacting uh by not reacting but choosing to respond being like oh i'm feeling that i feel that it feels like someone says something and it's uh gets you it's hitting you right in the wounds and it looks like how to get the most of this reading this energy is no longer sacrificing yourself for others it feels like others have projected blame onto you and it feels like one not responding to this i'm not going to give them the reaction that they want i get the feeling that you might be on to something with someone getting closer to calling them out or the truth and it feels like someone says something that is meant purposely to wound you because in the past if this person can get you in your feels get you in your emotions then uh you can't communicate from that space you're in your feels and they're big and they're overwhelming and so you're ungrounded and um it looks like they've done this in their life like a lot to try to get you to feel everybody's feels and it looks like by you not reacting any longer by you being like oh feels like instead of you taking on whatever they're trying to project at you you're just like wow that was really hurtful wonder why you would say something like that to me it feels like not receiving and then or not saying anything and just allowing the awkwardness i'm not going to take on what i'm not receiving and just allow them to absorb the awkwardness or the cruelty of what they said oh another way i've seen online of someone dealing with this type of energy is say that again could you say that again what did you say and this puts the energy back on them to feel weird to have to think about what they said and it feels like you just kind of recognizing who you're dealing with instead of trying to fix them instead of trying to get them to understand or care it feels like you've wanted people to understand you and care about your feelings for a long time but you might be uh it feels like either this person can't or refuses to care does it matter which it is 
feels like you're realizing I'm no longer going to participate in my own undoing. And it feels like you're making a lot of, um, you're seeing a lot about this type of energy and the type of person, the lack of maturity, things like that around this type of behavior. And then it feels like you're, you're done with that type of, that dance. I'm done with this dance. <laughs> What's supporting you is your work. It looks like you might be, um, focusing on work, maybe even kind of hiding a little bit in, yeah, it feels like whatever it is that you do, your job, it helps you kind of clear away. Uh, your work supports you. I'm not feeling like you're hiding from it. It feels like it's very therapeutic right now. It helps you get out of your head space because it feels like you could very much overthink whatever this is that's overwhelming. It also looks like um, it's helping you detach from a traditional way of behaving. Yeah, it looks like you're separating, you're letting go of detaching from anything that you feel is mentally manipulative and that doesn't it feels like you're realizing i these relationships lead me to more conflict i would like relationships where conflict leads to more connection where I can hold space for others, even when they're mad at me, when they're having difficulty with something I've done. Can I hold space for that? Can I allow myself to feel criticized and, uh, and wounded and, and not retaliate? And well, what about what you do? But be able to see like, wow, this, I can see how my behavior uh, affected you that was not my intention how can we work through this it was, so it feels just mature <laughs> it just feels mature um so it looks like you're shifting the way you friend the way you relationship and this is huge it's not a uh, one day type of thing this feels like something if this has been resonating this is something that's quite a journey that you've been on. All right, what to be mindful of is the Ace of Pentacles, a new way of being in the 3D. The Pentacles are talking about physical 3D, abundance, money, health, home. It feels like this creates a whole new opportunities for you. Uh, it feels like it clears up your space to invite in new relationships because now you know uh, what you're looking for, what what's a requirement, <laughs> a maturity level to to get closer to you if if you want to be in a closer relationship with me, someone I trust, someone, then we have to have a mature relationship. I'm not responsible for how you feel, but we can grow through conflict. Boy, that grow through conflict, conflict leading to more connection is just keeps coming up in my mind. Um, that that's, that's the seed, that's the potential that you are growing on right now and it looks like you're leaving behind yeah you're leaving behind any relationships that just don't that feel off that are off that are unfair that are unjust where there's a imbalance there's some type of hierarchy it looks like you're not interested in being responsible for someone's feelings who they place their feelings and how they feel above you um wow 
very impressive. All right, I'm going to continue on with this reading and look at how this will affect, how these energies will affect your health relationships. That's creativity, new opportunities, and career and finance. So if you're if you're invested as I am and want to hear more, uh, the link is in the description box below. It's on the extended reading and I'll meet you over on Patreon. See you there. Have a great day.